Thank you, Lord. Good to see you. God bless you. Amen. When the praises go up, the blessings come down. When the praises go up, then the blessings. Worship the Lord. Hallelujah. When the praises go up, when the, the praises go up, then the blessings come down. The blessings come down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When the praises go up, then the
praise in the house tonight. Hallelujah. Tell him how great he is. Tell him how awesome he is. Oh, say thank you, Jesus. When you praise him, anything is possible. Anything can take place in the presence of God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Come on, do I have some worshipers in the house tonight? There's just something. I don't know about you, but I know about that day. Some of you call him Master, Master, Savior, Savior, Jesus. Come on, can you just give him a hug tonight?
in his words sing praises unto God sing praises sing praises 
with understanding. Which tells me that when we sing unto the Lord, we're not just singing because it sounds good. Because I can move my body. Because the beat is just what I like. It's West Indian or it's, or it's, um, it's, it, it's pop or it's R&B. But because we're singing unto the Lord with understanding. Understanding every word that you're verbalizing is unto the Lord. And if you sing it, understanding that you're singing to an awesome God. A God who's able to do what man can't even possible think about. When you put yourself in that mindset that you're singing unto somebody whose ways are past finding out. The Bible says, who can give him counsel? Who can fathom the mind of God to know what he's going to do next? This reminds me of Paul and Silas when they were in jail. These are a couple of people who sang with understanding. They stood in that little room. They understood what they were singing about. And they understood who they were singing unto. So it's a two-way thing. You've got to know what you're saying and who you're saying it to. If I could let my imagination go wild a little bit, I can imagine Paul singing, You are awesome in this jail. Mighty God, you are awesome in this jail. Abba Father, there was a tremble in my cup. Jesus showed up. He said, you're worthy of all praise to you, the deliverer, to you, the healer, to you, my provider. Our hearts be raised. Ha. You are awesome. In my situation, this jail. Mighty God. Have you ever been laying on your sick bed? The doctor says, no. But you said, God, you are awesome. Ha. In this place. Ha. Mighty God. Ha. You are awesome. Ha. In this place, whatever it is, Abba Father, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy of all the praise to you, to you, our hearts we I may be sick, but God, you are awesome. The doctor said, No, but you are awesome. They say I got six months to live, but you are awesome. I'm no longer in my sick bed. You are awesome. I could have paid my bills, but you made a way. You are awesome. They gave up on me, but you are awesome. In this place. Mighty God, have you ever been there? Have you ever been there? When everybody said you'll never amount to nothing, but all you can do is say, Lord, you are awesome in this place. My, those of you who know what I'm talking about, you join with me. I'm not talking about spectators, but those of you who have got a direct line to glory. something keep that expectancy very high 
because God is about to move in this place. And don't worry about who is sitting next to you. Say, excuse me just a minute. I've got something I need to dance about. I got something I need to shout about. The psalmist them says, when trouble is in your life, what do you do? You sing praises. Sing praises unto God with understanding. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
Have you ever been at the place where you've been saved for a long time? But there are those days when you feel so far from God. You feel like you don't even have a relationship. You pray and the words just falls back down on your head. The tears want to come but your eyes are dry. You want to pray but sometimes you just fall asleep. Many of you are here tonight. This is the time where I want you to reflect. This is deliverance night. It's healing night. Don't look at what you see in the natural. But put on your spiritual glasses. Put on your spiritual earphones. And get in tune with God. Because there's some of you been praying for some time. And said, Lord, I need a word. Have you ever been there? Oh, Lord.
just reflect a little bit. Are you waiting for the day? The way of peace. Stretch onwards to heaven. Thank you, Jesus.
Benton. Not a friend like the low lead Jesus. No. Not one. Ah, thank you, Jesus. No, not, not one. None else like he is so high. And let you can reach me so lonely. No, not one. No, not, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggles and he Till the day. 